In my previous video called How to Professionals Learn, I had talked about three models of professional learning. The mental scheme, the skill acquisition model, and the strong reflective practitioner model. The mental scheme model is the mental activities involve the processes such as active learning, constructive learning, and goal-oriented process. New information coming in through familiar schema present within the information sector is then collectively constructed through the declarative knowledge, procedural knowledge, and information processing. Then finally the new meaning is acquired, that is new information entering and it becomes new meaning in the whole learning process. Skill acquisition model are studied and researched by March 2000. I will put the reference in the description section below. So skill acquisition model is trying to explain the progression from novice to experts increasing his or her perception and intuitive recognition system within the practical situation rather than action based on the rote learning. As practitioners progress through the stages of skill acquisition, there is a decrease in rule guide behavior of the holistic idea of knowing how. Actually, the learning from experience enables the practitioners to think more deeply about the current information and more understanding is achieved in this way. Sean's reflective practitioner's model often practitioners stuck in a situation where the theories and models they learned do not prepare them. In this situation, Sean's reflective model is coming in handy where the practitioners can rely on practical experience, tacit and intuitive knowledge and also use reflection in action to solve the problems. Professionals not only learn by knowing the three models of learning as researched by MOT, professionals also learn by collaboration with other professionals. Collaboration is a strategy used to develop system of continuing education and the formation of collaborative relationships is fundamentally a political process. In positive collaboration environment, effective partnerships are formed and developed goals achieved and a clear recognition of the benefits to be gained by the participating institutions or organizations. For more information, watch the video from the video link above. Now, we talk about the expert system and the professional. In today's society, the losing of the expert systems, that is, I meant the replacing of the partnerships and agents, increase the systemization in the expert system. Therefore, the authenticity and the truth of the professional service is minimized. The systemization could ambiguity the community and creates a blindfold society that is waiting for disaster to happen. So much for that, please watch the feature of CPE, Continuing Professional Education, from the video link above. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.